Thank you to Ritz for sponsoring this video. It is holiday season rolling around again and we all know what happens holiday season. You make a big meal, people like homemade things, people don't like to wait, they get impatient, people are hungry. Da, 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 da. My stomach's growling right now. A lot of things go on, the kitchen gets crazy busy and this year, these two are going to have to help. Well, I think I'm a really good cook anyhow. I don't know if y'all can cook anything. I usually cook for y'all. <laughs> I always think it's important to at some point bring the children in on learning how to help make a holiday meal. It's better to start now so you at least know how to cook something. Yes, unlike some people. Like who? Don't look at me. I'm looking at the camera. If the camera can't cook. Ava, you know what? You say you can cook. I've never seen you cook anything. If I ask him, my mom will say that it's just going to make it take longer. That's a fact. No, it's not. Holidays can be fun and really stressful. You know, like, like you said, kids are impatient. They want to eat. We figured out something to really save holidays and help the kids when they're really impatient and stuff. We're going to share that with you. So, Alexis, first thing, let's get those gloves on, huh? Yes, we need there to get these handy gloves on. Even though I washed my hands before, guys, still, I do not want nothing getting in there. Let me show you how to use this properly so that you don't injure yourself. One, your hand should be nowhere near the knife. So hand at the back end. Always help children when using knives. Two, your other finger should be nowhere near the front of the knife. And we're going to cut the cheese into, see how easy that cuts? Press down, okay? Boom. Push down. Hard. There you go. There you go, use those muscles. There, and just cut the cheese. Bruh. Ava, look at that thumb. Look where your thumb is. Kids at home, be careful with a knife. Always have adult supervision. Our kids have been learning how to cut for quite a while now. So, so we're still teaching them. Why is it so hard to cut cheese? Like, cheese is supposed to be soft, not hard. Well, this is a block of cheddar. This is Monterey Jack, actually, and that's sharp cheddar. So this is how I make homemade macaroni. Several, several, several different cheeses, so you have different flavors. One is Colby, one is cheddar, one is Monterey Jack? Yeah, this is Monterey. This is, one of these is Colby Jack, one is cheddar Jack. I don't know. Oh. Got it. Can't tell. It looks the same. So Imani, while they're cutting the cheese, Bruh. what is your favorite family holiday tradition? Well, normally I spend most of my time with y'all, so I'm excited <laughs> for the holidays so I can go spend time with my other family. In where? In Texas. Oh, in Houston. Texas. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, shout out. Our family's favorite holiday, I'm going to speak for the family. I don't know, what's your favorite holiday, Alexis? Christmas! Christmas! Is my birthday a holiday? <laughs> no. Yes, it's a national holiday. <laughs> okay, mine... Is my birthday a holiday? Mine is probably Christmas and Halloween. And my birthday. I think my favorite holiday tradition is on, like on Thanksgiving, being able to eat whatever I want. It's not fun the next day, but it's fun that day to just eat whatever you want. Why isn't it not fun the next day? Because your stomach will hurt? Because I'm about 10 pounds heavier on the scale. Wait, I have a joke. Why did the toad take the bus to work? The toad? Because his car got towed. Wow. Wow. You should say, why is it fall? Okay. Dad, insert sitcom laughter here because you're not going to remember when you watch the video because it wasn't funny. One of my favorite holiday traditions is listening to your dad <laughs> tell stories and jokes that he thinks are funny. I know you guys like that too, right? No. The dad doesn't. jokes never stop on the holidays. That's right. I need to make sure and check the macaroni that is cooking because obviously you can't have mac and cheese without mac. Is that how it works? Yeah, you need the mac. You need the macaroni. Mama, was that a joke? It wasn't. It wasn't attempted one. No, Ava. no, it wasn't. You can't. It's for real. You cannot have macaroni and cheese without the mac. Imani, what's your favorite holiday dish? Definitely macaroni. I've never okay. had macaroni cups though, so I'm excited about that today. You never had our special macaroni, no, have you? Not the okay. cups. All right. Our? When did it become ours? Are you doing something? <laughs> I'm holding this camera, so <laughs> I'm participating. Alexis, yeah? what's your favorite holiday meal? Probably. Flat pasta? Flat pasta. Out of all the food she could enjoy, turkey, dressing, all this stuff, Enjoy flat that. pasta. Just flat pasta, which she has every night anyhow. What's yours, Ava? I like pink plates. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Ava has bad timing on her jokes. Dad, insert sitcom laughter there. This is for the Yeti. Insert sitcom laughter. She really thought she had a good one. She thought about that. What's her favorite holiday dish? The pink plate. She really thought she had that one. Ava, good try, but she wonk, wonk, so wonk, hard. wonk. She laughed so hard, I couldn't even hear the joke because she was laughing. She was already right? laughing at her time. <laughs> Justin, she nah. Jimmy, hold on, she Jimmy Fallon the joke. She laughed before it even happened. Nah. Do you know what I love? 
how not a single one of you two I said the macaroni and cheese that I'm making right now. Well, we haven't, your favorite we haven't tried it yet. All I know is that I'm getting really hungry. I'm really hungry too. I could eat anything at this point. Including my homemade macaroni and cheese. Why are we making eggs? I would eat something from the garbage can. I'm so hungry. Ew. Wow. Um, you guys can have something to hold you over. Would you like something to hold you over? Yes, absolutely. I would love something to hold me over. Bring it on. But I'm. I'm can I just see this from the camera? Wait. She messed up my masterpiece. You did like this. I'm going to. I'm going to bring them a little snacky snack to hold them over. Hopefully okay? it's good. So you guys. I thought this year, since you, everybody always complains about being hungry before the food's done, we could go ahead and have a little snack to hold you over while you're waiting for food to be done. Everybody's favorite, like who doesn't love traditional Ritz crackers, original Ritz crackers? I do. My favorite thing is putting cheese on top of Ritz. I did that as a little boy. I, I love that. That's so yummy. I like Ritz crackers with spinach dip. Spinach dip, oh, that's good. I like it with peanut butter. I just eat it. That's what's great about Ritz. You can put so many things with Ritz on top of Ritz. I think we had four different answers there. Spinach dip, peanut butter, cheese. Mom said by itself. You can have Ritz with just about anything. So your dad mentioned it with cheese. You guys should try it with a piece of cheese. But I have something else we should really try it with. Now, this is the home run of home runs. <laughs> you guys might not know what this is, but this is egusi, which is, this is a Nigerian dish. It's pumpkin seed, powder, ground pumpkin seed. I got fresh fish in mine, which you can, people put all types of things in it. Sometimes you can put crayfish, chicken. I prefer it with fresh fish, but I think this would be a perfect topper for the Ritz, actually. You don't eat egg goosey just by itself. Like normally you eat it with like pounded yam, but um, why not Ritz cracker? Ooh, yummy. So that's, how do you say it again? Egg goosey? Egg goosey. Egg goosey? Egg goosey. Okay. Oh. That actually hits, that that goes perfectly. So Imani, you're a Nigerian, so you love yes. Egusi, right? I'm Nigerian, but I've never had this. What? Get on these face. <laughs> I don't eat Nigerian food. You're right? Nigerian, but you've never had this. I've had this. I guess you're more Nigerian than me, huh? That's Taking my Nigerian card. She just said, it. I'm gonna try it. I was like, what you mean try it? You never had Egusi? Shame on you, Shame right? Shame on me, don't tell what? my dad. First time ever on a Ritz cracker. Let's now you see. gotta get the Egusi too, you said not that's just the too fish. spicy. You gotta try it. Yes. We just made a new dish, guys. Egusi right. and Ritz. Yeah. And you just took my spot. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes wonderful. My mouth is on fire, though. This is for you, Justin. Egusi and Ritz. It's actually really good. Mmm. No cap, audience. Those of you who like Egusi, those of you who are Nigerian, even if you're not, this pairing, it goes perfectly. That was delicious, but insert the fire emoji. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to make it spicy, but I like it spicy. This one's pretty spicy, but it's so good. I mm. love this so much. Since we like rich crackers with lots of those stuff, then how about smushing them in the mac and cheese? Well, we can definitely top the mac and cheese with Ritz. That's that's actually what I'm going to do. Look at that little chef Alexis over there. You know, people like uh, bread crumbles and stuff on the top of their mac and cheese. Uh huh. Crumble some Ritz on top. See, now I take my condensed milk, evaporated milk, and egg mixture, and you mix it with the mac. This is sort of like a binding. Like once it cooks together, it makes the macaroni stick more together. But Alexis won't even be hungry. She's not like Yeah, you better eat the whole pack, Lex. Save your appetite. I already salted the pasta. I don't use too much Ew. salt. I'm not a big salt person. Put a little bit of paprika too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can you guys take the cheese and throw it in there? Okay. It's like a you race. You really have any, Alexis. <laughs> not a race, guys. This is the cheesiest macaroni I've ever seen. <laughs> Don't tell me you're hungry then. You can wait till the food is done. So you guys saw how we just use Ritz to save our meal. Basically hold these children over and they tried it with a traditional Nigerian dish of egusi. I'm still gonna have some of this after I'm done making this mac and cheese. So this holiday, show us how you celebrate with Ritz crackers. Maybe comment down below how you use Ritz and your family to celebrate the holidays.
when I am done with these, I'm actually going to crumble some Ritz crackers and put them on top. Ooh, yummy. So we will have a crusty top to the macaroni and cheese cups. It is time to bake these things. Already preheated the oven. Let's see how these turn out. Never made them in cups before. I usually just put them in a pan, so let's see. So this yummy stuff just came out of the oven? Yep, so we have our mac and cheese cups. That looks so yeah. good. That's like the best macaroni patty I'm ever going to taste. Mama, it looks so good. I want to yeah. eat it right now. We definitely are good cooks. Thank you to Ritz for sponsoring this video. So it actually works. Look, we have mac and cheese cups. Delish. Time to serve them up. I'm gonna let them cool and then I'm going to have some. And me. And me. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. Um, and now I have a really important announcement. A very special announcement about my brand, my product. The site is open, gleambeautyinc.com. I have three products right now. Body scrub called I Don't Want No Other Scrub. Best scrub you're going to use, promise you. It's, it's everything. I don't even know, it's just, it's amazing. Best scrub you'll see. You can see I've been using it, it's like empty. <laughs> And then we have hydration potion, which is to come after you're out of the shower, you use your scrub, and now you want to hydrate. This is called hydration potion because it is made to keep your skin hydrated. This is not just about being shiny, even though I like to be shiny, but this is about hydration. You shake it. I just wanna show you guys. It already looks like water, right? Wetness. It's about hydration. Can you see the hydration? Yes, I'm sure you can. And that is what hydration potion gives you is hydration, retained, locked in moisture. That is available on the site gleambeautyinc.com. Last but certainly not least, we have Seal the Deal. It's optional, but if you want to really seal the deal and put that extra glow to your skin, this is what you get with Seal the Deal. As you can see, it's about getting a little glow. You'll get the, so I don't, you can see the difference now from just hydration potion to Seal the Deal. This is something you use for those nights you're going out or when you're done getting dressed. Like this is, don't put this on before you're dressed. This is like pigmented. And you'll see when you go out in the sun, you'll see the little shimmers. That's what this is. This seals the deal and this is the last thing. This is all you need in your skincare, your body care routine. The bundle is all three products and this is what you're going to need to get the true skin benefits that you want to get is all three of them. This is again, the scrub the hydration potion and seal the deal, which is like a shimmery, glowy oil. Everything you need. So you guys head on over to gleambeautyinc.com and follow the journey and we'll share more. I'll tell you guys more about this and later and I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep telling y'all about this and you will see it. Thank you to Ritz for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching and make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and show more of cases. Thank you for watching.